Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to plant your plants together to create strong plant communities called guilds. And again, a guild is this idea that you put plants together that help each other and they strengthen the community that they live in. So there's lots of different plants in a guild. We're gonna talk about um, a few that we have here. This plant is a Siberian pea shrub and it is a nitrogen fixer. Nitrogen fixers pull nitrogen out of the atmosphere and put it down into the soil where they can get access to it and other plants around them can get access to it. Not all plants can fix nitrogen, so if you have a guild, it is important that you put a nitrogen fixer in with your other plants to make sure that you have enough nitrogen in your soil for everybody. This next plant is both a dynamic accumulator and a beneficial insect attractor. It's called a comfrey, and this is a wonderful, wonderful plant. It's also a medicinal herb. Um, it's good for scrapes and burns and that kind of thing. So comfrey has a long taproot, goes down into the soil, and it pulls nutrients from way down deep up into its leaves. We practice something called chop and drop with comfrey. So as the plant grows, and they grow enormously over the summer, we chop them back and we take those leaves that we've chopped and we lay them down in other places. And what we've done is we have taken nutrients that was locked way down deep in the soil and we've just added it to the top soil because we've placed it on the surface. So we practice chop and drop within the guild and if we have extra plants, extra plant material, we will move those to other places that need the extra nutrients. So this comfrey, in addition to being a dynamic accumulator, is also a beneficial insect attractor. So it brings in the good insects that will pollinate the rest of your yard. Our honeybees go crazy for this comfrey every year. It produces beautiful spike blooms all season long. Um, wonderful for both our honeybees as well as the native pollinators here in Colorado. Horseradish is another dynamic accumulator. This is horseradish right next to the comfrey. Does a similar function, it goes down deep, pulls up nutrients and brings it up to the top for the rest of the plants to get access to. So other plants that you can add to the gill to strengthen the little community are plants that will drive away the bad bugs and plants that will drive away some of the critters that will eat your plant and tree roots. Oftentimes in a guild you have a center post, if you will, you'll have a tree that everything is built around. We call this our, um, our wimpy guild. These plants are um, kept close to the house, out of the wind, and they get a little bit extra water and it seems to help these guys quite a bit. Okay everybody, thanks for joining us. We hope you learned something on guilds and companion planting. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll do our best to answer them. If you have information to share, please share it with us. You can put it in the comments or you can send us an email and we'll do our best to share that out with everyone else as well. If you have questions about guilds or companion planting, uh, we suggest you head out to the World Wide Web and do a little snooping there. And also come back to our website. We have good information there, books that we recommend, um, designs that we recommend, and we'd be happy to share that with you. So www.righttothrive.org and we will see you there. Thanks so much. Bye.